Welcome to Rayleigh's Tutorials. This video is explaining the principal alignment and setup routine for Rayleigh's Axial Scan 3-axis scan systems. Make sure to comply to the laser safety regulations to prevent hazards to health and material. We will show you the required steps for a basic scan system alignment as an example. You might have to adapt the procedure for your machine setup. Please prepare your tools before starting with the setup procedure. Manuals of scan system, control card and software. Appropriate marking material for your laser wavelength. We recommend to use a precision frame spirit level. Matching alignment tool for the scan system. A metric ballpoint Allen key set. Measurement tools suitable for your required precision. It is crucial to align and collimate the laser beam correctly. First we remove the scan system from its mounting bracket. After that the beam is pre-aligned, centered and perpendicular to the aperture. For this step you will need a suitable setup with deflection mirrors or mechanical alignment of the laser or fiber delivery. For a precise alignment of the beam, the alignment tool is mounted to the mounting bracket for the scan system. To check the collimation of the beam, the diameter is measured at two positions. Ideally this is done using a beam measurement device. In the video it is demonstrated using mode burns in acrylic, which is still a common method for CO2 lasers. The measurement is repeated at a second position further away from the output aperture. If the beam is converging or expanding, the collimation setting of your beam expander has to be adjusted. The beam size 1 by E square should be about two thirds of the nominal aperture of the linear translator module. Once the beam is collimated, it is aligned exactly using the crosshairs. For clearly visible burns, a suitable material for the laser wavelengths has to be selected. The parameters are fixed to values, leading to sharp edges of the burn. Most axial scan systems allow you to custom set the field size. Even though the mechanical setup looks different for the various models, the main principle is always the same. The movable set lens is sitting on a Galvo driven axis on the linear translator. This linear translator can be moved within the LTM to set the field size. Here you can see the manual setup for an axial scan with spindle driven linear translator. Here the field setup procedure is shown a second time for an axial scan with LTM2. The scan system has to be mounted parallel to the working field at the correct working distance. After the field size is preset, the axial scan is mounted back to your system. The working distance is set correctly for the required field size. Using a card at the base plate of the scan system, the accuracy of the reading can be improved. It is important to align the scan head parallel to the working field. One method is to use a frame spirit level as shown in the video. Another method would be the alignment based on distance measurements between scan system and working field. After this step it might be necessary to adjust the working distance again.
Due to tolerances, it is necessary to set up the focus position using a laser test. As an example, this is shown marking squares, while the linear translator is moved in steps through the focus position. Alternatively, your material poses and parameters, or even a focus monitor could be used. In order to set up the focus by software in the next step, it is recommended to move the linear translator about 1 mm closer to the laser beam entry from the nominal position. If the accuracy of this manual setup is sufficient, the linear translator is moved to the position with best result and the software setup can be skipped. For higher accuracy, the lens position can be adjusted by using the set offset in the software. For the test marks and weld mark, the parameter profile named test pattern is used. The parameters should be suitable for the material used for focus tests. The calibration wizard is opened by selecting the correction file and clicking the calibrate button. In the wizard, the option Find focal point adjustment is selected. Similar to the manual setup before, it is possible to move the set lens by changing the offset value. Again we mark the test pattern while moving in equal steps through the focus position. We recommend to start with rough steps and repeat the procedure with finer steps afterwards. Once the best position is determined, it is entered and the wizard is closed. The value is now visible in the parameter list of the item calibrated field. As the setup is finished, we recommend to mark a test pattern to verify the successful adjustment. Excellent! Thank you for your attention.